Hey, it's us again. This, me, Dad and I, we wanted to talk about Richie Havens because he knows way more than I do, and I don't want to get my information mixed up. So, Dad, go ahead and talk about him for a little bit. Richie Havens was a popular singer from the 60s, 70s, and 80s who, unfortunately, came to prominence because of Woodstock, but he had a body of work that was much greater than that. Uh, if you recall, Woodstock, that... Uh, Love Sing Fest up in the uh, upper New York mountains. Um, Richie Havens was asked to sing, and uh, he did his his bit. And the stage manager came off to the side and kept telling him the, the roll signal because the next act wasn't ready. So he kept singing and improvising, and he improvised a song that became known as Freedom. It became sort of a the theme for the countercultural movement of Woodstock in that protest period, and it made him famous, you know, beyond recognition. Um, out of context with his whole body of work, but Richie Havens was a great, great singer, a great impressionist, a, a great uh, musician, a great wordsmith, as we call them, people who use words Poet. poetically, uh, a great instrumentalist, and a wonderful human being, and uh, to hear of his passing is, is truly sad because, once again, it's one of the pillars of our modern-day society, one of those people who uh, we all stand on the shoulders of to uh, enjoy the freedoms that we have. I think uh, of Lenny Kravitz sometimes when I think of Richie Havens because it's just that way. That same aura about him yeah. that uh, reminds you of the, the great Richie Havens and it is sad to see him go, but he's in a, a better place now with other great musicians. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, a few others. Jamming. Uh, jamming away, so God bless you, Richie. May the Lord keep you and continue to bless your spirit. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Havens.